Well, welcome to Coverings, everyone. My name is Ryan Fazan. I'm the technical cons consultant and uh, educator here at Tile of Spain. I'm here talking to one of the exhibitors from Tile of Spain, Tamara from Equipe. Uh, and we're just going to talk a little bit about the, the current trends in the market and how they apply to the product that you're doing. So one thing that I noticed walking through the fairs throughout the years is, is that the sort of trend towards imperfectness. Uh, is something that's morphed and grown throughout uh, the past couple of years especially and there's different ways to interpret it vintage retro is there a way that your company is is embracing that kind of trend or uh, something that you're doing in your products hi hi everyone so equipe has always been a manufacturer of small tiles and the way we see we bring that small tile and imperfections but we try to bring it with a contemporary approach so that's our vision, uh, small tiles, big ideas. So always looking to go from the big tiles and create 3D uh, aspects and the different shapes, like we have a triangle and a benzen. So that's the, the idea behind our company. Okay. So, so shapes are a big thing, obviously, in small format, especially for, for walls. But I'm seeing them a lot in floors as well. Are you doing some different shapes in, in both wall and floor? Yes, uh, we started with the hex that is everywhere now, the hexatiles, and then we have elongated hex, like a kite format. We have a rhombus uh, shape. So yes, we definitely do different shapes, more on walls, but the floor is big hit also. So, I mean, everyone always thinks of backsplash and shower. Uh, that's, that's the first thing that everyone thinks of when they're thinking of tile. Um, but I'm starting to see a lot more tile being utilized outside of those normal areas. Is, is that a trend that you see as well? Yes, absolutely. Uh, and I know we are at coverings, but our idea is not to cover, it's to decorate. Okay. So we get our tiles and we're not covering floors and uh, wet areas in a bathroom. We're, we're decorating, we're using it as a backsplash in a coffee shop, as an accent wall in a hotel, a restaurant, or your own uh, at your house, if you have a hallway and you want to make it a focal point, you can use it there. So that's the, the idea. So we can use it in many ways and, uh, and take advantage of the, all the colors and everything that we have. Especially with the shapes and the sort of decorative looks like the hydraulic cement look and things like that. I'm seeing it going up the face of kitchen islands and a lot more feature uh, focal points happening with decorative product. Um, so that's got to be a really good thing for you and Akipe, I'm guessing. It's nice. We can we can do 3D uh, shapes and uh, go from the wall to, uh, floor all over to the wall, and uh, we can delineate an area with the decor tiles. We can use it as a like a rug if you want. So absolutely, this is a good trend for us. <laughs> yeah. We happen to be sitting in front of uh, a vibrantly colored wall, and that's that's another thing that I think is coming more to the fore here in 2019. Um, neutral palettes have always been very strong in ceramics because we're such a long-lasting material. Um, are you seeing a stronger trend towards colors? And if so, is there certain colors or a palette that, that you're going to? Yes, uh, colors are everywhere. And they, I think they're here to stay. I hope so. Um, the white, light gray, like you said, are always going to be there, always going to be popular. But uh, pastel colors, big, you can see even light pink, nude tones, warm colors, uh, bright blues, uh, greens. They keep it just developed uh, two new lines and we introduced a lot of colorfuls. We have different shades of greens and blues, uh, orange. Uh, yeah, dark. You, we're going for it. And like you go, if you go for an accent wall, you don't want your accent wall to be like gray if you have a beautiful blue like this one that you can use. So yeah, for sure, colors are here and uh, hopefully they stay. Yeah, it's not much of an accent if it's a giant beige wall, is it? Yeah, so <laughs> so do you have uh, more of a, a shift towards the pastel tones, or is it more saturated, or are you doing both? Uh, we're doing both. And uh, the way we see it before, people used to say, okay, let's develop a line for the American market. Let's do North American colors. And I don't think that is accurate anymore. We're making colors for everywhere. Like the colors are not determined by a market. Now you develop, if you have a good colors, they will sell anywhere. You just have to find that right shade and the color that everybody wants nowadays. And uh, I think that's the idea. 
Well, that's that's fantastic, Tamara. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and ideas with us, and and thanks for coming here uh, to Tile of Spain at Coverings and and showing your beautiful product to the world. Thank you. Thank you, us for giving this opportunity. Thank you.